Hello, my name is Grayson and I am a, uh, wow. My name is Grayson and I am a fourth year at the University of Texas at Austin studying architecture and architectural engineering. And if you're interested in either of those two things, I would encourage you to subscribe to my channel. Um, today I'm going to talk about should you major in architectural engineering? And I've made a lot of videos about the architecture side of my education and myself, but today I would like to give some love to the architectural engineers and the architectural engineer inside me. So let's get into the video. First off, I want to talk about some of the high school classes you should take if you want to become an architectural engineer, or if you're already in them, they would help you in architectural engineering. First off, is AP Calculus AB or BC. I didn't take either of these in high school and I wish I did so badly because I had to take them in college and a lot of my friends got out of them through the AP tests and uh, that was not fun to have to sit through a whole nother semester of calculus. If you like calculus, like integral calculus and differential calculus, if that makes sense to you, then engineering is good. If you don't understand any of the other stuff, that's fine too, because I don't either. For most of engineering, the math part of it is like simple algebra and like very basic um, integrals and diff diff <laughs> derivatives. <laughs> if you can do very simple integrals and derivatives, then you will be fine in engineering. The second class that I wish that I took in high school that I didn't was AP Physics C. Now I took AP Physics 1 and 2 and neither of those counted for anything because life is a nightmare. When you're an engineer, you have to do the calculus versions. So if you are in that, that will help you. But in general, if you like physics, like if you think that physics is kind of fun compared to like biology or chemistry or you know English or something, then engineering might be for you. Lastly is AP Chem. I wish I had taken that. They didn't offer it in my school, but I did need to take chemistry in college and it would help you get out of credits and you don't have to pay as much money because high school is free. I wish I had thought about that more as a high schooler, but now I'm, now I'm here. So now some of the things that would make you a good engineer in my opinion. These are all just my opinion. Um, so here we go. Here are some of the things that if you like in high school or you like whatever, like in your life, I guess you can always become an engineer. You might be interested in architectural engineering. So math, like I said, like problem solving with numbers and values and even like the very manipulation like me because I'm a weirdo, then you'll probably like engineering because it's a lot of that stuff. Again, physics, like I really like physics because you can like see it and you can understand it with your eyes, at least like the classical physics, like not quantum physics. Most of engineering, you know, it takes place in like human scale, building scale, bridge scale. So for me, that makes a lot more sense than like chemistry, which is like you know, little atoms and stuff. Next up, kind of fun, if you like puzzles, then you probably will like engineering because a lot of it is like you get a bunch of these pieces and these givens and these um, parameters and then you have to like figure out a solution and how they fit. If you like Sudoku, you'll love engineering. <laughs> if you like art, uh, specifically like sculpting or like putting things together in unique ways, if you like experimenting with materials, I think engineering would be really good for you. In contrast, if you're more into like creative art, creative writing, like creating something beautiful or like mimicking something in real life. Maybe you'd be more um, interested in architecture side, which is more about creating that story and creating like an atmosphere through the design. Whereas engineering is more about taking the pieces that you have and like trying to like come up with like interesting solutions. Like if you like taking things apart, like as a kid, I used to take apart like old broken DVD players and like speakers and stuff. And then trying to see how you can put them back together. That's like all of engineering, like reverse engineering and re-engineering is like engineering. Uh, on the same string, a lot of people who like engineering were like big Lego people, big Minecraft people. I would say even cooking is similar because you get, you know, your list of instructions and if you like following the lists and like get, getting all the measurements and stuff and like preparing everything, then that's like very similar to engineering in my opinion. Next up is computer science. Like I know that computer science is its own like thing, but it's honestly like that's where like the future of engineering, especially like structural engineering and like energy simulation and using computers to be able to analyze things at a higher level. If you're interested 
in any of the things I mentioned beforehand, and also you're interested in computer science, there is still a place for you in architectural engineering because uh, we need people who are like good with computers and coding, unlike myself, I hate it. So if you like computer science, please join engineering so I don't have to do it. Next thing, uh, if you like money, you should probably look into engineering because I'll just put up on the screen the difference between salaries for architects and engineers and like Engineering is a very good economic choice. And lastly, if you like making a difference, there's a lot of ways you can make a difference as an engineer. All right, so now I'm gonna talk about some of the things that I learned in college that I didn't know coming in, but make me so glad that I'm an architectural engineering major. So first off is that buildings are super important to sustainability and the country in in the world in the climate to the health of the earth basically the building operation maintenance and construction comprise of one third of the entire energy com consumption of the world 40 percent i want to say of the co2 emissions of the world and there's a lot of innovations to be made in the hvac and energy systems of buildings also construction construction has a big impact on sustainability learning how to do things without creating as much waste without using as much energy also something i learned that i didn't know like going into it, it was that like, construction is like really interesting like if you like organization and like planning and like it's like putting everything into place like I said it's just like Sudoku um, construction and construction management might be for you so you still have to have that engineering knowledge but you also have to have that kind of planning organization knowledge scheduling stuff like that I like to think of them like as this conductor of a crazy orchestra and you have to like get all the pieces moving in the right time in the right place and it's crazy it just makes my mind like get very excited and tingly so if you're like me and you like that kind of stuff then architectural engineering might be for you so those are some of the things that you should consider when deciding whether you want to major in architectural engineering. Um, I give it a two thumbs up review. It's really been awesome and great and it makes me feel like there's hope in the world. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any more questions, leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. And uh, like, comment, subscribe. Okay, I'm weird.